Hi, I'm Chef Pete Schellenbach here in the Vulcan Test Kitchen, and today I want to introduce you to Ibex. Ibex is the newest member of the ITW family and is special to us in a lot of ways, not the least of which is the way Ibex came about. Normally, ITW functions as a customer back innovation organization. What that basically means is that our product portfolio is dictated by conversations that we have with food service professionals about their needs. But ITW noticed a need on its own. In the fast, casual, quick service segment, there was a heavy reliance on speed ovens. And we were noticing a huge degradation in food quality based on the traditional speed ovens. In the past, commercial ovens have forced chefs to choose between speed and quality. Ibex changes that. So before I get started cooking, I wanna take you through some of the feature set of the Ibex. One thing you'll notice right when you look at it is it's a beautiful piece of hardware. It's an all stainless steel exterior that is coated with a FDA approved powder coating. The next thing you'll see is that it has a very large, easy to read touch screen. And that touch screen can hold 600 different recipes. The exterior has a cool to the touch handle. You'll also notice that it's ventless. It easily passed the rigorous UL 710B test so that it is certified ventless, including cooking fatty proteins, which is a very unusual feature. Only one or two pieces of equipment in the industry carry that certification. So in addition to looking great on the outside, Ibex also looks great on the inside. It has a full stainless steel interior with two level cooking. That two level cooking will accommodate half size sheet trays. The shelves are actually perforated to increase airflow and allow for better, more even cooking. Ibex also comes with a griddle plate for contact surface cooking to give you maximum browning where the food is in contact with the plate. You'll find four side launching antennas, which are the real magic of the Ibex. And I'm gonna talk about that a lot more later. Also, Ibex is stackable, so you can double your output without changing your footprint. So the first thing I'm gonna make for you is a ham and cheese sandwich. Pretty standard fare, but it's the kind of thing that you would find in any sort of bistro or bar. So I wanna get that started. Put in my sandwiches. and hit start. So before I go into all the new and innovative technology that is in the Ibex, I need to take a couple of minutes to tell you what Ibex is not. Ibex is definitely not a speed oven. You're gonna hear me compare Ibex to speed ovens because that's the closest thing that I can compare it with. It's difficult to come up with a good comparison because Ibex is first in the world technology, brand new to the market. Since speed ovens came out on the market, they have certainly redefined the definition of fast. With all that speed, they have some significant drawbacks. The three that leap to mind first are that speed ovens are generally very small. They can't cook much product at all. They certainly can't batch cook. The second thing is, is because of their outdated technology, they can't cook mixed loads. They can only cook one thing at a time. And lastly, and I think even most importantly, is that speed ovens cannot cook certain types of foods. If the foods have high sugar content, if the food is very delicate, speed ovens just simply can't do that. Speed ovens use radiant heat, just the heat of the box. They also use old 1940s outdated microwave technology launched from a magnetron and uh, that technology is terrible for food. And then the other thing that speed ovens use is a technology called impingement. Impingement means to strike with force. And the idea behind that is you throw ultra high speed air at the food, it shatters the cold layer of the food and allows the heat to get in. But if you listen to the words that I just used, strike, force, shatter, all of those are very forceful words. They're definitely not delicate. So when you're trying to cook something delicate in a speed oven, you really run into a lot of problems. All right, so I'm gonna to put together the sandwich that I just pulled out of the Ibex. I'm gonna add some tomato and bacon and slaw. Got a little basil mayonnaise that I'm gonna put on this. Go ahead and put the top on. I'm gonna cut this. And one of the things that's important to see about this is the quality of the bread. 
You'll notice the crumb is still airy and soft and there's good crunch on the outside of the bread. This is absolutely perfect, just like it came out of a hearth. It's definitely not microwave bread. So like I said, speed ovens struggle with delicate foods. I'm gonna be cooking some all butter croissants and I can't think of a better example of a delicate food than a croissant with all of its layers. One thing I want you to see though is the croissants that I'm gonna be cooking are going from frozen. So with my croissants loaded in, I'm gonna go ahead and start that process. The technological breakthrough that enabled Ibex to come to market is the concept of tunable radio frequency energy. We call it RF. 102.7 and 96.5 sound different on your radio because those stations broadcast the music at different frequencies. A magnetron, which just blasts out microwave energy, would sound like static. By comparison, tunable RF energy would sound like magic. That's the concept of, of Ibex and our tunable RF energy. If your speed oven has a magnetron and launches microwave energy from a magnetron, it is a microwave. Despite what marketing spin might be put on that, if there is a magnetron, it is different technology, it is old technology, and it is not Ibex's technology. So now you're gonna see me do something that no speed oven can possibly do. I'm going to add another product to the Ibex while the croissants are cooking. So to do that, I'm gonna tell Ibex that I need to add an item. I'm gonna tell it that I wanna add breakfast sandwiches. And then I'm gonna add those to the cabinet. What Ibex does is it senses that it has another product in the cabinet. It will adjust the timing so that both products will come out the way that I had originally intended. Ibex has four antenna that can both send and receive energy. This technology came from both the biomedical and the telecommunications field, but this is the first time that those precision technologies have been used in food service. So what Ibex does is it sends out a test pattern of combinations of frequencies. Then it watches to see what frequencies were absorbed into the food. If the frequencies weren't absorbed in the food, they bounce back. Ibex, because it can receive information as well, sees which frequencies bounced back, and then it just simply stops broadcasting those frequencies. So only the frequencies that were positively affecting or heating the food are sent out and anything that would have damaged the food by just hammering into it, those frequencies are turned off. If that were all that Ibex did, it would be an amazing innovation. But Ibex takes this one step further. Because food changes as it cooks, breads or croissants rise and change shape, uh, meats change their density as they cook, because food changes as it cooks, Ibex understands that and will send out every 10 seconds another one of those test patterns of 10,000 combinations. What that does is it sets up a closed loop conversation between the food and the machine. The machine sends out all the possible frequencies and then listens to see what the food can accept, then only sends the right frequencies out. That process of learning, adapting, and heating continues every 10 seconds through the entire cook cycle. So one thing about this breakfast sandwich that I want you to know is that because of Ibex's versatility and its ability to cook small batches, I could have done six or eight of these breakfast sandwiches at one time. And that would be a phenomenal way to keep like a grab and go case full of fresh product in the morning when I'm coming through a peak business cycle. So now that the breakfast sandwich is out, I'm gonna go ahead and put in another item 
while the croissants are still running. I'm gonna put in some ginger marinated salmon. Quality, consistency, and speed are three things that every food service operator strives for, and Ibex delivers. Because the food hasn't been damaged by microwaves, the quality of the food stays higher longer. So that means that if the food is being delivered by a service or if it's being sold as to go, the quality will still be very high when the food finally gets home. So I wanna take a minute to talk about potential customers or market segments that would be a good fit for Ibex. Everyone from fine dining to K-12 could certainly benefit from the addition of an Ibex to their operation. But in the fast casual segment specifically, to be able to set yourself apart with a repeatable guest experience where the quality is extremely high, where the speed is there, where the guest satisfaction stays so high, that in that segment specifically is a perfect spot for Ibex and that's why Ibex was invented. All right, so my croissants are done. So I hope by now the speed and quality benefits of an Ibex are, are apparent. But um, Ibex has a couple of other benefits that really help a food service operation run better. Um, the first is, uh, and as I mentioned before, it's completely ventless. That means that you can put an Ibex anywhere in an operation where it's gonna have the greatest impact, up to and including out in the restaurant. Imagine having a server station in the restaurant with an Ibex over a refrigerated base. And in that refrigerated base, you have par-baked bread. That means that every table that walks in could have bread baked specifically for that table. That means that the server is able to walk up to that, that guest, hand them some freshly baked bread, and that server never had to go back to the kitchen to get the bread. That eases pressure on the kitchen and makes the guests feel that much more special. And that same concept could even be extended to some desserts. So the desserts could be made in the restaurant as opposed to in the kitchen. Relieving pressure on the kitchen, making guest satisfaction go up, and turning over tables that much faster. Another benefit of Ibex is that it's incredibly cool to the touch. The side of the Ibex is only 90 degrees. The front of the Ibex is only 92 degrees. Ibex requires only a six inch clearance on the sides and the back, so it's very easy to slot Ibex into or between other appliances in your line. When it comes to installation, Ibex is flexible there too. Like I said before, all we need is a plug and our flexibility includes having a single or a three phase option. Ibex comes standard with the speed peel for removing items, the two shelves, and the griddle plate. Cart options that you could choose from are a standard work table height cart that has pan storage underneath, or a right-sized smaller cart that allows for stacked Ibexes to be at the right, at the right height. Gives you all of this technology within easy reach. The biggest benefit, I think, that Ibex brings to the smooth running of an operation is the ease of cleaning. As someone who has worked with other rapid cook ovens in the past, having an all stainless steel interior is just amazing. All of the components on the interior can easily be removed, and once they're cool to the touch, I can just take them out and send them to the dishwasher. Then, all I have to do is use any non-caustic standard degreaser, spray the inside of the oven, wipe it back out, and then I'm ready to go. Put the, put the shelves back in, and uh, I'm ready to start the next day. So while we wrap up, we started out with a ham and cheese sandwich that was finished in only two minutes and 10 seconds. 
Then I loaded in a full tray of croissants and the cook time for the croissants was nine and a half minutes. While the croissants were cooking, I added in a breakfast sandwich on focaccia this time. It only had a two minute cook time and that was followed immediately by ginger glazed salmon cooking in six minutes. So that means that the entire production time was less than 15 minutes. For more information, you can go to ibexoven.com and there you'll find brochures, spec sheets, videos, more information that, that is gonna help you make a decision. You can also reach out to Charlie Pantalakos, who is the business unit manager of Ibex. Thanks so much for joining me in the Vulcan Test Kitchen while I introduced our newest family member, Ibex. Mm -hmm.